everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 19th of april 2022 let's start the e sanjeevni facility is set to be launched at which institution to ensure the coverage in remote areas so to cover maximum number of people from the remote areas the government has planned to launch the tele consultation facility called e sanjeevni at 1 lakh ayushman bharat health and wellness centers okay so the health ministry announced that on the occasion of the 4th anniversary of ayushman bharat health and wellness center e sanjeevni tele consultation facility will be launched at total 1 lakh center fine now coming to the question slide which multilateral bank is set to invest 150 million dollars in the development of data centers in asia so aiib means asian infrastructure investment bank would be investing this much amount in the development of data centers in asia which indian state is set to host the next edition of khelo india games in 2023 so the host for this event is karnataka which state or union territory is set to host here it should be has hosted the 25th national youth festival in 2022 so this event took place in puducherry for two days 12th and 13th of january 2022 and it has been organized on the occasion of the birth anniversary of swami vivekananda which state or union territory is set to host india's first water taxi service again here it should be has hosted answer is maharashtra also do remember that recently maharashtra tourism has won the excellence award in otm mumbai fine which asian economy is set to ratify its membership of the regional comprehensive economic partnership in 2022 this country is indonesia nmcg tei center of excellence on water reuse is set to come up in which place so this would be setting up in gurugram in haryana okay also talking about gurugram do remember that the headquarter of international solar alliance lies here and you have to tell me which is the 100 first country to join our international solar alliance because this country is important which state government is set to launch the happiness curriculum in the primary schools after chatisgarh and delhi so uttar pradesh is the third state to launch happiness curriculum in their primary schools which country is set to ban the sale of tobacco to its next generation answer is new zealand and talking about new zealand recently icc women's world cup has been organized here and the winner of this cup is australia and australia has defeated the country england to win this tournament fine next question the supreme court directed which institution not to exclude the candidates with color blindness from its courses so the supreme court of india has directed pune based film and television institute of india not to exclude the candidates who suffer from the color blindness from its courses on film making and editing okay and also it has asked to make changes to its curriculum instead so supreme court was hearing a plea by a candidate whose admission in 
for post graduate diploma in film editing at FTII was recalled after the institute found he is a color blind okay talking about the supreme court ketan ji brown jackson who was seen in the news is the first black woman justice to serve in the supreme court of which country so ketan ji brown jackson is the first black woman justice of usa also you have to tell me who is the first black woman to be minted in the coin of usa do let me know in the comments as per a recent supreme court order which institution has the power to tax lotteries organized by other state answer is the state government the supreme court has scrapped the gender cap on performers in the orchestra bars in which state recently actually maharashtra authorities limited the number of male and female performers in the orchestra bars to four each but the court said that it violates the fundamental right of the performers under article 15 and article 19 of the indian constitution okay so correct answer is maharashtra state aisha malik became the first ever woman judge of the supreme court of which country so she became the first ever woman judge of the supreme court of the country pakistan who is the head of the supreme court appointed inquiry committee to probe prime minister security breach so i think in the month of january we have seen that there was some security related issues during the prime minister's visit to punjab right so for this purpose supreme court has appointed an inquiry committee which would be led by justice indu malhotra and they will check out why this kind of security breach was happened and also they will suggest some type of measures to protect our constitutional functionaries recently the supreme court of india has permitted which state to hold bullock cart races in the state till the pendency of the issue before the constitutional bench this is maharashtra who is the head of the expert committee constituted by the supreme court to probe the pegasus allegation so the head of this committee is justice r v ravindran fine next question chenna keshwa temple which was seen in the news recently is located in which state so this temple in belur belur is in karnataka continued with its age old tradition of starting the chariot festival after reciting passages from the quran by a molvi and the karnataka endowment department allowed the temple authorities to go ahead with the practice so hundreds of people from across the state visited this temple to witness the two day festival recently fine now let's see some of the important things that were in news Horn of Africa which was seen in the news recently belongs to which type of topography Actually Horn of Africa also known as Somali Peninsula is a large peninsula in the eastern Africa and it is located on the eastern part of the Africa So recently the intergovernmental authority on development said that the people in the region is preparing for their most severe drought in last 40 years and rains will likely fall for a fourth consecutive year triggering increased cases of malnutrition threats to livelihood and severe risk for 29 million people in the region okay so correct answer is peninsula next is neptune missile system which was seen in the news recently is associated with which country so the russian black sea fleet moskva sent off the coast of odessa after a missile strike on the ship and russians claimed that an on board ammunition fire caused the blast on the ship while the ukrainian stated that it was a planned strike using the neptune anti ship cruise missiles fine actually this kind of missile system was inducted into the ukrainian forces in the year 2021 after russian threat to the coastal areas of ukraine was growing rapidly since occupation of crimea in 2000 14 okay so correct answer is ukraine moscow which was seen in the news is a famous worship of which country so just i have told you that this 510 crew missile cruiser moscow which was a symbol of russia's military power is said to be hit by the ukrainian missile and as per the russian military sources the warship which was leading its naval assault on ukraine was damaged by an explosion and sank after a fire okay do remember that this 
12,490 ton vessel is the biggest Russian warship to be sunk in action since Second World War. Okay. Zero COVID policy, which was seen in the news recently, is associated with which country? It is related to China. The Vija Dam, which was seen in the news, is located in which country? It is in Ghana. Yumya Mata Temple, which was seen in the news recently, is located in which state? This temple lies in Gujarat. Mission Raktar, which was seen in the news recently, was associated with which institution? Answer is Indian Railways. Next question. Which department released the National Time Release Studies as recommended by World Trade Organization? So Vivek Johari, who is the chairman of Central Board of Indirect Taxes, presented a set of time release studies that has been conducted by the department. So this TRS is a kind of performance measurement tool for examining the cargo clearance process of the international trade as recommended by the World Trade Organization. And this is done under the Trade Facilitation Agreement and the World Customs Organization. Okay, so correct answer is CBIC. Now let's see some of the important reports. Which institution released the draft guidelines for settlement of payments for export or import through e-commerce? This is Reserve Bank of India. Which institution released the draft guidelines for National Register of Doctors after licentiate exam? Answer is National Medical Commission. Which organization released the Global Wind Report 2022? Global Wind Energy Council. Which institution released the Braving the Storms East Asia and the Pacific Economic Update Report? This report is from World Bank. Which popular Indian band of the 90s released their first album called Bonde with Mohit Chauhan as the lead? Answer is Silk Root. Which state government recently released the Dishank application to make the property records more accessible? Answer is Karnataka. Which institution released the framework for geotagging of payment system touch point? This is Reserve Bank of India. Next question. Which country has successfully tested a new laser missile defense system, Iron Beam? So Israel has successfully tested a new laser missile defense system called iron beam which can intercept several aerial objects starting from missile rocket anti-tank missile and even drones so this iron beam which is developed by the rafale advanced defense system is using the directed energy weapon system and israel is set to begin using the system within a year okay now well, let's see some of the important international current affairs which country has recently approved India as a wheat supplier? So Egypt, which is one of the top importers of wheat from Russia and Ukraine, has approved India as a wheat supplier as per the Commerce Ministry. And this comes during a dip in the global wheat production because of the Russia-Ukraine war. And Russia and Ukraine accounted for nearly one third of the global wheat export. And before the war, Egypt imported wheat worth nearly $2 billion from Russia and $600 million from Ukraine every year. So now Egypt imported about 1 million ton of wheat from India. Which country has announced $51 billion external debt default? This is Sri Lanka. India has decided to establish education and skill development working group with which country? Answer is USA. Which country is the host of the 2026 Commonwealth Games? The host for this event is Australia. India signed a new space situational awareness arrangement with which country? Answer is USA. Which country flight tested the ballistic missile Shaheen 3? Shaheen 3 missile has recently been tested by the country Pakistan. Also do remember that few days back, India has accidentally fired a missile to our neighboring country, Pakistan, and for this purpose, now an inquiry committee is also set up, which is the first country to recognize the legal rights of individual wild animals. This country is Ecuador. Next question, which Indian state is the host of the FIH Hockey Men's World Cup 2023? 
So Odisha is the host of this World Cup in 2023 and this tournament is scheduled from 13th to 29th of January at Bhubaneswar and Rorkela. So the state's chief minister Naveen Patnaik recently unveiled the official logo of this tournament and the country's largest hockey stadium is being constructed in Rorkela as well. Fine. Let's see some of the important hosts. Which city is the host of the Waterways Conclave 2022? This is Dibrugarh in the state of Assam. Which country is the host of the 2026 Commonwealth Games? Answer is Australia. Just I have told you. Who has been appointed as a coordinator for the G20 summit to be hosted by India in 2023? First of all, the presidency of G20 would be with India next year. And who has been appointed as coordinator? Harshvardhan Shringla. Which state is the host of the meeting of National Tiger Conservation Authority in 2022? This is Arunachal Pradesh. Which city is the host of the 4th India-US 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue? This is Washington DC. Which is the host country of COP28 climate summit in 2023? Answer is the country UA. Which state is the host of the conference and exhibition on the national calendar of India? Answer is Madhya Pradesh. Next question. Which Indian private sector bank launched its new enterprise portal FYN? So Kotak Mahindra Bank recently announced the launch of Kotak Fin which is its new enterprise portal exclusive for business banking and corporate clients. So the bank's customers can use this portal to carry out all trade and services transaction and it offers a dashboard to track the utilization of transaction limits on a real-time basis, access to past transactions and upcoming transaction events etc. Fine. Now let's see some of the important banking related current affairs. Which bank has partnered with Gift Special Economic Zone to promote IT and financial services. Yesterday I have told you this bank is ICICI. As per the World Bank's April update, what is the India's GDP forecast for the fiscal year 2022 to 23? So for this year, World Bank has projected India's GDP at 8%. As per the World Bank, learning poverty is defined as a child's inability to read a simple text by which age answer is 10 years. Accepting a petition of creditors headed by the Union Bank of India, National Company Law Tribunal orders the corporate bankruptcy of which company? This is Super Tech Builders. In 2022 to 23, how much has the government set as a target for the National Bank for Financial Infrastructure and Development to grant the infrastructure loans? Answer is 1 trillion rupees. Which bank signed partial guarantee pact with the Asian Development Bank to support the supply chain financing? This is Axis Bank. Headquarters of ADB lies in Philippines. Next question. Which Indian economist has been selected for the 2022 Malcolm Adisashiya Award? So veteran economist Prabhat Patnaik has been selected for this award. And this award is annually given by the Malcolm and Elizabeth Adi Sashia Trust to an exemplary social scientist. So Prabhat Patnaik who was born in Odisha has taught at the Center of Economic Studies and Planning in the School of Social Sciences at Jawaharlal Nehru University in New Delhi. And also he has served as the Vice Chairman of Kerala State Planning Board. Fine. Well, let's see some of the important awards. Who has been awarded the International Gandhi Award for Leprosy 2021? Answer is Mr. Bhushan Kumar. Amar Mitra, who was awarded with this year's O. Henry Prize, is an author of which language? So he is an author in Bengali language. Jatin Goswami, Sonal Mansing, and Kalyan Sundaram are the recipients of which award or fellowship? So they are related to Sangeet Natak Academy Fellowship. Which oil and gas firm received the prestigious Asian Oil and Gas Award 
for covid management and new product of the year answer is indian oil corporation limited who won the excellence award in otm mumbai recently just i have told you this is maharashtra tourism riki kej and falguni shah are the recent winners of which award so they have been awarded the grammy award grammy award is related to music industry next question what is the theme of the sabka vikas maha quiz conducted by my government so my government under the ministry of electronics and it organized the sabka vikas maha quiz series and this is the country's biggest ever quiz contest which aims to build awareness among the citizens about the government's various developmental and welfare schemes and good governance so recently it was launched with the inaugural quiz on pradhan mantri garib kalyan ann yojana okay and the theme for this was atmanirbhar bharat okay so let's see some of the important days what is the theme of the international women's day 2022 answer is gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow okay nurture young minds develop a safety culture is the theme of which special day that is celebrated in the month of march so this was the theme of national safety day and we observe this day on 4th of march what is the theme for world wildlife day 2022 when do we observe this day on 3rd of march and the theme for this year is recovering key species for ecosystem restoration what is the theme for world health organizations world hearing day 2022 it is observed on 3rd of march and the theme for this year is to hear for life listen with care remove laws that harm create laws that empower is the theme of which day that is celebrated on 1st of march so this was the theme for zero discrimination day and this observed on 1st of march next question which organization manufactured dornier 228 aircraft the first made in india commercial plane of alliance air so alliance airs made in india dornier 228 aircraft has taken its first commercial flight on dibrugarh pasigarh route and this was being operated by indian air force and it has been manufactured by hindustan aeronautics limited in india so alliance air to function as independent business unit and it is no longer an air india subsidiary okay right? now coming to the question slide what type of missile is helena which was recently tested by the drdo so helena is a kind of anti tank guided missile which organization flight tested the solid fuel ducted ramjet booster answer is drdo which company has handed over the first set of gaganyaan hardware to the indian space and research organization so hindustan aeronautics limited has handed over the first parts of gagan hardware to the isro indian air force has partnered with which organization for fleet card fuel on move mechanism so for this purpose indian air force has partnered with indian oil corporation limited which of the following is the first multilateral organization to have a presence in gujarat international finance tech city answer is new development bank you have to tell me where does the headquarters of ndb lie now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this meenu jatsana signing off